This video is of a Suzuki SV650 2003. And what I'd like to show is how to run the tachometer. I have two tachometers uh, hooked up right now. This one is running off the ECM. It's a nice clean 12 volt pulse coming uh, off the stock ECM. Uh, this one is connected to the ignition coil like the tachometers on the Gen 1 SV650s. Uh, some folks uh, would like to connect the Gen 2 tach up to their Gen 1 SV650 that does not have the nice clean signal coming off of the ECM over here. So the challenge is how to get the signal from the ignition coil. We've got a yellow wire connected up through a posi tap to the black wire going to one of the ignition coils running up through some kind of circuit here that's tapped to the gas tank and translate that signal into something that the Gen 2 tachometer can digest. So what we have is on this circuit is a Zener diode and a resistor for the front end. The purpose of that is to knock off the high voltage from the ignition coil. That uh, has voltage spikes on it up to uh, about four or five hundred volts even. After the we chop the voltage down to about 12 volts with this uh, Zener diode. We go into this uh, RC low pass filter which takes some of the noise off of it. And then after that you might be able to uh, drive the tack directly if it didn't have such a uh, low impedance input. Uh, which it means it's, a, it's kind of a heavy load. So in addition to that we have here a transistor which is hooked up as an emitter follower and basically what that does is it just mimics the signal that comes in and sends the output uh, amplified not in voltage but in power so it can drive the low impedance TAC input. Over here is an oscilloscope showing the uh, high voltage input on the bottom and the output of the translation circuit on the top. So let's go ahead and start the bike up. You can see the uh, that gauge did its little 7K swing dance on the startup because it doesn't have the maintenance power hooked up. But here is the uh, stock tack hooked up to the ECM. Here is the tack running off the ignition pulse. So if we rev it up. That's the ignition pulse tack. That's the ECM tack. We zoom out. You can see both at once. And try to hold it at 4K RPM. And they both track nicely. 6K. All the way up to red line. And that works pretty good. So down here you can see over here the High voltage signal off the ignition coil is right here. Uh, you probably can't read it, but it says 20 volts per division. So if you look at this signal here, it's about 14 volts from uh, the bottom to the top. But this spike here goes up to, uh, like I said, four or 500 volts, which is way too much for the stock gauge to handle. The top signal here is after going through the circuit on the gas tank, and that's about uh, five, it's almost 10 volts. Actually, uh, the uh, Zener diode that I have on that, the uh, this test circuit is really a 10 volt Zener, uh, but a 12 volt would bring that voltage up to what the uh, actual gauge is looking for. Uh, I did a couple tests on the bench, and it seems like the tack can go uh, all the way down to even like four volts. So even if you left it like this, I think you'd be okay. So here's here's what it looks like when you rev it up. And again, back to the tachometers. They track nicely from one to the other. That's the circuit. That circuit gets basically the power and ground. It comes up here. Again, this signal is from the black wire on one of the ignition coils. 
It goes into the circuit here. We're tapping off with the two oscilloscope probes to uh, show the input and then the output over here. This is the massaged output, filtered, and that goes over to the tack input here. I hope you enjoy the video.